we go. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, he's taking line. Oh wow. This guy's taking line. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I do appreciate it. Today, we're gonna talk about saltwater fly fishing. Now, I posted a video sometime back and people were like, you caught those on a fly rod? What the heck are you doing? And the cool thing about fly fishing is it, it's not just for trout, right? It can be for a lot of different species. And in this case, we were targeting greenling and cabazon because we were looking to make fish tacos. Now, I wanna make it very clear. We were targeting bottom fish that were in season. Sometimes you're gonna catch fish that are not in season and we were very careful to release those fish unharmed, no nets, right? We didn't even touch them. What do you use when you're trying to fish for bottom fish on a fly rod? So I've actually got a six weight. I'm a bit undergunned, but this should do the trick. I think it's a pretty heavy six weight with the Sage Foundation with a Remix reel and I had an outbound short, right? Really for casting. I use that rod primarily for sea run cuts, but I put a very long 12 foot fast sinking sink tip. Now, ideally you'd have a full sink line, but it still worked because typically when you're fishing for bottom fish, you are fishing in 30 to 40 feet of water. And if you're just patient and you have a slight current and not too much wind, you can get down far enough to be able to get into some of these fish. Okay, so what flies do you need? We were using heavy weighted flies. So that also helped get things down to where they needed to be. We're using 13 pound floral carbon test leaders. So you want something stout because a lot of these fish are super toothy. So you wanna have a fluorocarbon leader. 13 pound is pretty ideal for bottom fish. The clausuminos that we're using were huge. I actually had somebody tie these for me for tuna fishing. So they have really stout hooks, super sharp but they're heavy weighted and large because these fish are predatory, right? They want to eat something that's a full meal, right? So a big clouser minnow really worked well. We started out with something smaller and we weren't getting anything at all. As soon as I tied on this giant clouser minnow, it was fish on. So if you plan on targeting bottom fish with a fly rod, the key components, right? The key components is you wanna let it sink, right? So you're gonna need a line, either a very heavy sink tip or a full sink line and a very heavy weighted fly to get down there where the fish are. And then it's just kind of popping the fly very quickly, right? You want that particular bottom fish, that predator to think, oh my God, it's trying to get away. And that a lot of times is when you get to eat. In fact, I was trying to film Kobe reeling in this big old fish I was just screaming the line in, right? Reeling in as fast as I could. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't believe what happened. Check this out. Yeah? <laughs> well, guess you don't need it. <laughs> nice. I'm coming, I wanna get it on film. <laughs> oh, I got one too. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to get out, I was trying to get up there to film. And I had one grab it. <laughs> oh, this is a big ling. Look at that mount. Look at this mount. Oh, it's a big blue too. <laughs> Let me get down there that, and get it. That's, 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 oh, he just broke off. Oh, oh. dang it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Flies are going. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but that has not happened to me for, for uh, very many times, right? Because I was I was reeling that sucker in as fast as I could and that big old link hod grabbed it on the way up. It was nuts, but such a fun experience, right? I had never targeted bottom fish, saltwater bottom fish on a fly rod. And now granted, we had a Goldilocks day, right? It was absolutely perfect, flat, calm, just wonderful. And one of those fish I almost lost. I mean, it was crazy. Sometimes you get uninvited guests that want to steal your fish. Check out this clip. Look at this sea lion just hanging out. He's totally gonna try to steal my fish if I catch one. And there he is, there's my fish. 
<laughs> Come on, buddy. Don't steal my fish. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, it's a big fish, too. Oh, look at the bend. No. <laughs> no, stay away from my fish. Damn it. Uh, I'm trying. Oh, he's below it. He's below it. Here he comes. Oh, no, he's right here. Look at him. <laughs> Not today, buddy. Not today. Oh, he's going to come up. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at him. <laughs> Go, we check this out. <laughs> Holy crap. As you can see, he was not happy about that, but we let that fish go, and I, I like to think that he made it to the bottom. So if you're looking to expand your portfolio on a fly rod, I absolutely recommend fishing for bottom fish. And you can do that off the jetty at the ocean. And right now in the fall time, it could be pretty nice weather and you could do it by boat, provided you're in an area that's open and you find an area that doesn't have a ton of current because when you have a lot of current, it is tough to get the fly down there. But as you can see in this last video, I mean, we had some great success and we caught some greenling and had some great fish tacos. All right, everybody, I hope that inspires you to get out there and do a little saltwater bottom fishing with your fly rod because it's super cool, and why not? And hey, if you're new to fly fishing, I put together a casting tutorial right here. Super, super easy steps to follow that'll help you cast that line out just a little bit further. All right, everybody, until the next time, fish on. Sorry, Kobe, I totally botched that one. <laughs> well, at least we got to get a video of you holding the fish, so. There was that. It's all good. <laughs> uh, that is a nice fish. Sweet. Let me take a picture too.